God is here for all of us. All we have to do is just ask uh, what we need and believe that it'll be done and be patient. You know, sometimes it may come. Hey everybody, welcome to another session of Tony Talks. I'm your host, Tony Evans. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel at iantony215. And please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, and Facebook. All at iantony215. Um, today on Tony Talks, I want to, I guess, address relationships. Everybody wants to be in one. Kinda. <laughs> But I always wonder, do people really think about the idea of a relationship? People, do people really think about the depths of a relationship? When, when I say a relationship, because we all have relationships, we all have different degrees of relationships. But I'm talking about a relationship intimately, one-on-one -on -one with a single person, women. I believe women have a better understanding of relationships. And really, there's really no like written blueprint. Pretty much everything, all material out in the world, in our society, is basically based on experience, ideas, and opinion. And we really don't have a like scientific-based uh, method of dating and relationships. I find that people, when they say, oh, I want to be in a relationship, they think of, the, I guess, the cute aspect of a relationship. And yeah, being in a relationship, yeah, it's cute. And it feels great, but it's a little bit deeper than that. Because, you know, this is potentially the person you're talking about to spend your entire life with, sharing every intimate, detailed aspect of you and who you are with no secrets well <laughs> if you're dating a water sign you're probably gonna have some secrets somewhere <laughs> depending on how transparent they are so as you guys know and people that follow me on all social media platforms know that recently just maybe this year um, I have been talking a lot about uh, astrology for, for some of you that uh, read it that way um, but it's really astronomy I've been talking a lot about that in conjunction to dating a lot of people see worth in it a lot of people see the validity of it a lot of people don't understand it there are some people that get violently upset about it but my thing is there has to be some type of uh, material some type of a method that we use to potentially pick the person you know that we want to be in a relationship with I don't know you know a relationship to me is uh, hey I'm gonna be spending the rest of my life with you and you're gonna be spending the rest of your life with me hopefully if everything works out like how do you know uh, if it's gonna really work out there's really no true way of knowing if something's going to work out but wouldn't it be nice to potentially know if it might work work out you know like the odds of it working out are 90 percent versus 50 <laughs> percent you know i'd rather have the 90 percent or the 95 percent versus the 50 percent there's a 50 50 chance that this thing may work if we work hard enough and i don't believe relationships should it be hard work because it, if we're working hard then when do we have time to enjoy each other you know men especially they want to work hard but they don't want to work hard i don't understand it so i've been preaching this message i guess if you want to say i be, that's because i'm very passionate about it it's become something that i'm very very passionate about because i do see the worth i do see the validity and I do see how it could help us as people uh, just coming in contact with each other from day to day. It'll help us in relationships as far as with our parents, with our siblings, 
with our friends, our co-workers, with our bosses, and with our husbands, our wives, our boyfriends, our girlfriends. All those great things. No, I just know, I just know, I just know. But the question is, what is your method? What what is it that you use? Like what is it the what is the criteria? You know, is it just like surface stuff like, you know, you have to have a car, a house, a bank account, you know, you have to, you know, have this, you know, beautiful body or you have to go to the gym or, you know, you have to have a career or, you know, all these surface things, but those are just surface things. Those are, those are just social things. We're talking about bonding with a person, you know, with a single person. That is the idea of a relationship, intimately, whether you're dating or married. So for me, I look for behaviors. I look for how does this person act? You know, what is this person going to be like? You know, what is this person going to do in our relationship? And there has to be some type of blueprint, some type of instruction. So I started thinking about life differently. You know, I started looking at life from a different perspective, not just from this, I guess, first person based perspective from a, a, a totally different vantage point. One thing I noticed is everything in this life has some type of instruction. Everything in this life has some type of knowledge attached to it. And when it comes to living things, everybody has a blueprint. If that were not true, then there would be no such thing as DNA, because DNA it is a blueprint. It is a blueprint to the human makeup. Humans also have a blueprint in behaviors. You have to consider there's nine billion people on the face of the planet. It's a lot of people, it's a lot of people, and it's gonna be more. It's going to be more in probably the next 25 years, who knows? I don't know, there's nine billion people. There's not enough room in this world for each and every single person, nine billion, to have nine billion versions of a person. And if you look, even in your own household, ask yourself the question, how can a woman and a man have three kids from the same mother, same father, but yet they have different relationships with all three children. You have to ask yourself, how is that? Don't they all live un under the same roof? Aren't they all being raised by the same parents with the same beliefs, the same views in a perfect world? Aren't they all receiving the, the, the same amount of love, you know, knowingly from the mother and the father? So how is it that three children can live under the same household and yet have three different versions of relationships with their parents and all have different relationships with each other and they all have grown under the same roof? How is that possible? You have to ask yourself the question. There is a reason for that. I've also come to understand that in life, yes, there is a reason for everything. Whether you know the reason or not, there is a reason for everything. Everything in this world has a reason attached to it. So if you look at living things, whether it's an insect, whether it's a dolphin, whether it's a dog, whether it's a cat, doesn't matter. They all have behaviors. You know, there's different versions of cats, just different versions of dogs, just different versions of ants, just different versions of birds, but they all have behaviors, certain behaviors. 
and these behaviors are distinctively different from each particular type of animal that we're talking about. So how is it that we feel that we escaped that? If you look at humans, we all have behaviors and we all have similar behaviors. But why is that? Why is it that you may have grown up in a completely different household from me? We live in two totally different states, two totally different countries. But when we come together, there are these significant similarities to us. Why is that? And so I had to start looking at things from a different perspective. If you're a human, you're gonna have behaviors. You know, when you're in a relationship with someone, behaviors are gonna always matter more than love because you can love someone, but their behaviors may not agree with you and love will go out the door really quick. So behaviors are very, very, very important. And so, you know, I started looking at behaviors more so than the way a person looks, more so than what they have, more so than what they're doing in the world. Because, you know, in a relationship, I'm going to marry this person. I'm going to be with this person for the rest of my life. So, you know what's going to matter more to me than anything else? It's going to be behaviors. Is there a way to determine the behavior of a person without really getting a chance to know them? Yes, because all humans have a behavioral blueprint. I had to start looking at things from a different perspective and it boils down to behaviors. You know, the behaviors of a person is going to outweigh how you feel about them because it will change how you feel about them depending on you whether you look at their behaviors as favorable or unfavorable. In my opinion, because everything is opinion based, um, and astrology and astronomy is still, even though it is written, even though uh, there are you know a little bit of studies about it, not a lot, and even though uh, science will um, accept it or acknowledge it as a scientific method, uh, there's still not a lot of research or proven research, you know, documented about it. You know, the only thing that you can do, only thing that you and I can do is take it and try to apply it to our daily lives and see if it fits, see if it works. But I believe in it so much. I am so passionate about it so much that I make it a lot of the topics that I talk about. Um, a lot of the conversations that I have with people are about this. That's my opinion. There are 12 different types of people. They are Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Scorpio. And Sagittarius. These 12 different versions of people are broken into categories. Fire, earth, water, air. Presentation of the four elements of the world. The most important four elements of the world. And each person that falls under these four categories have similar behaviors or they have certain types of behaviors. You know, just like if you have a chihuahua and you have a hound dog, that hound dog has a nature. It has behaviors that are attached to it. The chihuahua has behaviors that are attached to it. And you can take a chihuahua that was um, 
raised by one particular family and you can take another chihuahua that was raised by another particular family and you'll put them together and you'll see that they both pretty much act the same yes some behaviors will be more dominant than others at the end of the day two chihuahuas will still behave the same it just depends on how the owner looks at the behavior is the behavior favorable or is the behavior unfavorable humans humans are the same so certain elements don't go together just like certain behaviors don't go together now if you're a person that likes to be close to the person that you are in a relationship with that you uh, are dating you like to be close you like to be up under them you like to be hugged up with them and you are a person that needs space that likes to be on the go that really can't sit still that always has to be doing something you know sitting still in one spot watching tv all day doesn't really appeal to you that much you should not be dating or in a relationship with a person that feels that way yes i know they say opposites attract but are are you really going to be happy you know is that person that's in the bed all day watching tv are they truly going to be happy yeah they know where you are yeah they know what you're doing but they would be so much happier if you were laid up under them. So that's the point of this whole entire thing is to match behaviors that are going to coexist, that are gonna complement each other in a much more favorable way than just going off surface things based on what you look like, what you dress like, and all these things. Yes, those things are important, but they're not every. Just as you have two different versions of humans, male, female, it's the same thing when it comes to behaviors. Now, when will people get out of the fantasy and get into reality? And the reality of it is, the person that you are gonna be the happiest with needs to have the behaviors that are going to be the most favorable to you and you will have the behaviors that will be most favorable to them the question is how do you know so if you are a fire sign you will have these type of behaviors it's written in the universe it's written in the stars it's written in the constellations and you can't change it you can't refute it. It is what it is. You will have the exact behaviors as fire. You have to think really deep. What is everything that fire can do? What is every single thing or every reaction that you can get from fire? If you are an air sign and you will move like air, Every single behavior that air has, you will possess. If you are a water sign, you will have behaviors as water. In all aspects, you have to think, what is everything that water can do? Water can be transparent. Water can be murky. Water is deep. Water can be shallow. You know, some people say, oh man, you know, wow, he's so deep. constellations it's written in the stars it's created by God you are going to possess these earth like behaviors you have to think about it what does earth do how does earth function in all aspects these are the behaviors 
behaviors that you will possess. You have to think about in all aspects. When you have earth and you have water, don't you think that they coexist better than earth and fire? Because what will fire do to earth? It will burn it. What will fire do to water? It will change the temperature. It will change the, the, the water. The water will change. The water will evaporate. The water uh, degree will go up. Um, it, it will be a chemical uh, reaction. You have to think about behaviors in the same aspect. You know, when you have a fire sign, and you have a, a water sign, are they going to have a, a good intimate relationship? And I'm talking about being really close. No, because when you bring fire and you bring water together, it's a chemical reaction. And it's the same way in behaviors. It's a, 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 a behavioral, a, a, a chemistry reaction, you know, and you bump heads. You know, if you are a earth sign, earth signs are, are about being stable, um, foundation. Earth signs are usually the, the very stable people in the world. They, they're about longevity. They do things long term. They think long term. You know, they come out of their mother's womb thinking long term. How can Earth give air a foundation when air is everywhere? How can Earth give fire a foundation when fire, all it does is burn? So under this uh, method that I chose to, to, to embrace, because I really have embraced it and it has taught me so much about myself and because I know my behaviors and because I know my behaviors, I know what to look for now. I know what behaviors are going to complement my behaviors. I know what I need to complement my behaviors and I know my behaviors are going to complement this person as well. If you follow me, I will tell you that air signs and fire signs are meant for each other. Earth signs and water signs are meant for each other. Not air signs and water signs and earth signs and air signs and all this mixing up will not have favorable relationships. And I implore you to Go find out what you are. Find out what you are. Find out what your mother is. Find out what they are. And find out what their mother is. And start to look and see. Like, wow. You know. So the question is, when will we get out of the fantasy and start to be realistic and live in reality and look at how we uh, choose each other more carefully. And the question is, what is your method? What criteria do you use? You know, I started looking around and I noticed that I dated a lot of fire signs, you know, and uh, I would have to do everything in my power to uh, make that relationship work, even if it meant you know, sacrificing my feelings, even if it meant, you know, sacrificing my comfort. They didn't, you know, really consider how I felt. Uh, you know, when I started, you know, looking at, you know, the behaviors, fire signs have these particular type of behaviors, and I'm a water sign, and um, I can see why we didn't work. I can see why it didn't last, because we're too, totally different vibrations. We, we move in the world, we view the world in two totally different aspects. And I find that, you know, I do share some very similar views with other water signs. But when you try to mix water with more water, you just get more water. If water doesn't have some type of foundation, and think about the behavior of water. Just think about um, water and water not having a glass to be in, water not having a bowl to be in, water not even having cold to, to freeze it, you know? We're just talking about liquid water. 
Liquid water with nothing to hold it is everywhere. What is the one thing in the world that can give water a foundation? Earth. Not fire, not air. So yes, you have to start looking at even yourself in that perspective because you are more than what they teach you in the society or what they say you are in the society. You are more than the car that you drive. You are more than the clothes that you wear. You are more than the body that you are in. These are just surface things. There's more in depth things to you and I underneath even the skin, even the flesh, even the bones. This has been another session of Tony Talks. I'm your host, Tony Evans. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel at IamTony215. And please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, all at IamTony215. And until then, people, I love you. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Peace. In three hours. Um, sometimes it may come a month later. Sometimes it may not come for years. We have to be patient and we just have to, you know, stay strong. And no matter what we are going through, we just have to weather the storm because they're just storms. They're just storms. And, you know, we just have to understand that God is here to see us through.